Welcome to Edge of 94 Midwest. We're glad you're with us here live from the poorhouse on the Rutgers Sports Gamer channel. This is an NHL 94 tournament for the Sega Genesis, followed by one for the Super Nintendo. We are 22 players strong here. Just got started about 10 minutes ago. Getting everyone into the games. Groups have been assigned. Opening ceremonies have concluded. We're glad you're with us. We really appreciate any feedback you might have on the quality, audio, all those kinds of things. We do have a producer, Noah, in the house from av for You. He's going to make everything rock and roll here. So we've got 70s Lord and EA doing battle here in the first game. Do us a huge favor, share this out, let the world know that we are here. Wearing two hats today, trying to get everyone situated. Just about to put that in Discord. Just going to put a couple social media updates out there. Be right with everyone as this game gets started shortly. So, have we got teams figured out? Okay. So, a 70s Lord is Buffalo. So, you got the gentleman on the left of the, of the, of the camera. Like, like the, the left as it's being broadcast. And then e, it's, okay, EA is Chicago. Are we going to match up between EA Chicago on the road against 70s Lord? Buffalo. You guys are good to go. ATB9, welcome to the stream. Let us know how we sound, how we look. Let's make a couple of adjustments so we can see this a little bit better. We're really excited, everyone, with us today. Should be a fun day here, all day. Super Nintendo after the Sega Genesis tournament, which is going on now. We are in group play. Looks like we have a game reset. Just a heads up to everyone, if you're not playing and you do wish to contribute to the broadcast, you're more than welcome to join me up here. We are streaming live on the Retro Sports Gamer channel. We have posted the link on our Facebook page as well as the NHL 94 Discord channel. They will be shortly shared as well to NHL94.com. So if you want to share what's going on in the world with your friends and family, what you're up to today, go ahead and let them know. You can see the broadcast up on the projector on also the side TVs. Uh, so that's the premier game. Thank you. EA setting his lineup for the Chicago Black Blackhawks. And both of these players will play each other back-to-back -back because they're part of a four-player group that plays the one and three and the two and four seeds twice. That's fantastic. I'm really glad that you enjoy what's going on here. 
Got my monitor. Looks like they're about to get started here. Welcome to the game one of group play here. Modano problems. Steve Smith with the faceoff win. Crashes. Looks like Paddy Lafontaine has got a breakaway. He's one on two, and he loses control of the puck. Swoboda picks it up and is inter interrupted by Murphy. Murphy takes it into the zone. Gains the zone. A lot of traffic there taken over by McGillney. Here comes Moggs. Moggs into the zone. Takes a shot. Belfour stands tall. Had some help. Looking for that feed to Ronick. Here comes McGillney. Stoned by Belfour. Steve Larmer on the wing. Up to Ronick. He misses it. Svoboda. Looked like he was going to do a breakaway. Decides to hold it up and tries to feed it to a long one-timer. To McGillney. Belfour back out to Murphy. Murphy. Loses it to Svoboda, and it is fed to Fuhr. Grant Fuhr handles it and gets up to LaFontaine. He's got a breakaway opportunity, and he crashed into the goal. This could be interference. It is two minutes in the segment for Pat LaFontaine. Good manual goalie controlled by EA. Here comes Mogilny off the faceoff win. Tries to go cross crease. Pads are stacked, but Belfort stopped it. Here comes Larmer, gains the zone. Larmer is taken down. Here comes Svoboda, a breakaway opportunity, and he's got the short side deep. Goal! First blood struck by 70s Lord. It's 1-0. 152 remaining in the first period. Face off taken by McGillney. McGillney taken down. Back to McGillney. McGillney takes the zone. Round the net. Bob Airy unable to handle it. And here come the Blackhawks. Blackhawks missed the feed to Larmer. To just, just touched. Avoids the icing call. Bob Airy tries to slap it short side. Belfour has nothing of that. Wants none of it, excuse me. Here comes Larmer. Larmer feeds it back. Slapper opportunity. Sabota took it on the chest for the team. Stops it from going in. Tries to go short side, does EA with Larmer, and we have the end of the first period. 1-0, 70s Lord, over EA as we enter period two. No line changes. And we got the Sabre dance going. Murphy, Taronic, short side, stoned by Grant Fuhrer. Taken down, penalty from behind. And Steve Larmer will spend two minutes in the sin bin. Face off a neutral ice. Here comes Howard Chuck. Howard Chuck loses the puck on a bad pass. Here comes Ronick. Tries to go for the EA special and it does not succeed. Chelios handles the puck. Off to the wing, mishandled. Here comes Howard Chuck. Howard Chuck tries to feed it in for a force one time or no go. Here comes Steve Smith. Steve Smith takes the zone, taken down immediately. I think that's Grant Ledyard. Oh, the one-timer attempt. Looked like there could have been a possible goal. Not handled by McGillney. So here comes Fuhrer. Resetting it with LaFontaine. Goes for the hard slapper. Almost an intercepted pass from Chelios to Smith. Rona goes for the slapper. There's a penalty. One-nothing game here. Six, uh, number 16, Pat LaFontaine. Two minutes for slashing. 2.42 remaining in the second period. Chris, excuse me, Petr Svoboda going cross crease. Got a deflection, couldn't handle it, but it is now behind the net. And the Blackhawks take it up. Steve Larmer out of the sin bin. Tries to force it. No go. One timer, and there's your goal. Mr. Ronick himself, weight bugger extraordinaire. It's 1-1, 152 remaining in the second period. We have a tie game. Ledger tries to squeak one past Belfour. Belfour is there. Lost puck turnover in the defensive zone. Here comes Ronick out in front. Tries to go short side. It is deflected. McGillney handles it. Defensive ice neutralize. Gains the zone. We do, oh, excuse me, back neutral, back to the zone. We, do, we play with offsides off in this game. Five minute periods. 
No line changes. You can alter your alignment. Would you put your best five skaters on the ice? Ronick tries to go for that slapper. Tira stacks his pants. Opportunity put back, and it's Ronick's second goal. It's 2-1. 18 seconds remaining in the second period. He is starting to find some grooves and some holes in that Buffalo defense. Joe Murphy up to Larmer, runs out of time. It's 2-1. Welcome to the third period. Hey, Tyler. Tyler, can you have them refill my water? Have them refill my water. Yes, All right, welcome to the third period. Blackhawks up 2-1, EA over 70 is lower. We got a quick one-timer, and there's your hats on the ice. For the road team, Blackhawks fans travel well. It's 3-1, EA playing with his favorite team, his hometown, Blackhawks. Steve Smith tries to force it to Larmer. One-timer opportunity and another one. That's the fourth goal for Roenick. He is unstoppable today. It's 4-1. Howard Chuck on the wing. Tries to go for the pass shot. No go. It's wide of the net. Larmer taken down on the boards hard. Here comes Spencer Savota behind the net. Meets some traffic. Gets free. Passes it on the wing to Howard Chuck. Howard Chuck dangerously close. Feeds it to McGillney. What a wonderful. Save there by Belfour. Belfour with another save. This time to Larmer. Retro Sports Gamer, thanks for tuning into your own channel. Good stuff. Thought we were going to have a crisis a moment ago, and it all of a sudden just came together with the magic of Baby For you, got a nice put back there. Will Gilney will not be denied. We've got a 4 2 game, 222 in the third. This game is not over, folks. Yeah, of course, part of the faithful for the Retro Sports Gamer. Oh, that put back. Will Gilney needed that put back to get into one goal game. Doesn't happen, and he loses control. Soldering on center ice. Here comes Larmer. Larmer tries to feed it across, doesn't get handled, and now it is cleared by Buffalo. Running out of time here, icing will happen. Four-two is your score. One twenty remaining in the third period. Tries to feed it one time. This time. Ledyard is there. Belfour handles it, tries to pull it. Patrick Waugh skated to center ice. It was cleared. Here comes Howard Chuck. Howard Chuck up the ice, takes the zone, running out of time. We have a whistle. And a penalty on Ronick. This will certainly hurt. The defense of the game here looks like EA is going to make a last moment change to his lineup based on the penalty. Christian Rutu enters the lineup, number 22. 31 seconds remaining. You need to you need to win this face off. He does. It's floating around and handled by Belfour. Oh, the putback is almost there. Runs out of time. This game will go to EA. 4-2 your score. Great game by these two. Very exciting, high-level NHL 94 play. King of 94, welcome to the stream. I'm assuming this is Halifax. Thank you for watching. We've got 22 competitors strong here today. Five groups. Just got the stream going live. I hope everyone likes it. Avi, if you worked hard on this, they've been here since 7.30 in the morning doing work. So about four hours to get us going where we are right now. All the TVs look absolutely tremendous. Let me see if we can get a scene switch. You can kind of see what's happening behind. You can kind of see behind the players. Is that working yet? That's, is that scene working yet? Which one? Or you can see the old, everyone. I mean, we can see the. the, 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 the oh. You want me to just get rid of the? I can I can put a whole slide up. A what slide? A whole slide up for now. Here, let me work on that. Oh no 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 no! I just want to show everyone what's going on. Uh, apparently, the camera that um, was going to get a shot of you of everyone is is not quite uh, up and operational yet. But that was secondary, so 
No worries on that at all. Uh, we're just very thankful for everything ABFU did for us today to make this tournament happen. Um, are you guys not going back to back? Yeah. Okay. I need another matchup then. Who's about to play? Who's about to play a game? We'll try to find another matchup for you shortly. Hey, Tyler. Hey, King Raph. Are you guys about to start one? We're gonna get a new set of players. Uh, King Raff and Tyler Vota. A lot of love going on here. A lot of really friendly faces. There are about as many spectators as there are players right now. This is great. A lot of people are, are really interested in what's going on here. Production level is off the charts for this tournament. Again, share out the tournament if you wouldn't mind. Okay. So the player in, uh, on the, in the Rangers jersey is King Raff. And then uh, Tyler Vota is V-O-T-A-W. Just hit run cartridge, hit the A button or start button or something. Yeah. yeah. Hey, did you guys hit the power or did you hit reset? I have to disable something, yeah. Don't hit power on that, I'm sorry, I gotta come around. I just gotta fix that. Because there's a shortcut that'll, you can't make the screen go away, like a menu. I have to make sure that's disabled. Otherwise it'll, uh, yeah. God, America. Who's the Sharks and who's the Panthers? Who's the Sharks? Who's the Panthers? Raph, are you the Sharks? Okay. All right. So Florida for Raph, which is the Rangers jersey, Florida, and then uh, San Jose for uh, Tyler Mota. The Sharks, yeah, San Jose Sharks. No, no, it's okay. The Sharks are, are Tyler Mota. And the Florida Panthers. Okay. So Noah, is our awesome tech? Not a, a, a super fan of hockey, so I just tried to help him figure out what the logos are. Um, had to reset that console. We're back up. 
So uh, Talakwata is going to control the San Jose Sharks. We've got a Tier 6 matchup, and then the Florida Panthers are going to be controlled by King Raph, the defending champion of this tournament, back-to-back. Uh, -back. And he's going for, she's going to try to go for his third uh, tournament victory uh, this year. And then he also had uh, the Super Nintendo last year. So, uh, excuse me, two tournaments ago. So uh, he has one SNES title here and two Genesis titles. He's also the defending world champion of King of 94. So... Tyler Vota has his work cut off for him. Kelly Kizio at the face-off circle. Looks like Brian Scrudlin. Lomakin to Scrudlin. And Lomakin with a goal here. That didn't take long. 1-0, 448 in the first. And here we go, Lomakin off the face-off. Well, one timer, it is missed, and there's a penalty, and the Sharks touch up. Glad you're with us here. This is the Edge of 94 Midwest Tournament for Modanimal Problems. Sandis Ozilich in the game. Kelly Kizio tries to take down Melody, I believe that is. You know, this is really testing my knowledge. I don't play a lot with the Tier 6. That's an open goal. Scott Mellon B with the goal. If I make any name corrections. All right, here we go. Wilkinson unable to handle. Here comes the Garps. Garps is taken down. We got a 2-0 game here. King Raff in the first over Tyler Vota. And it's touched up by Florida. We have an icing call. It'll be a face-off in the San Jose zone. The home Sharks. Not looking so good so far. And there's a slapper, Scrudlin, with his third goal of the game. It's 3-0. Okay. It's 3-0 here, 3 6 in the first period. Tyler, not a bad player. King Raft just makes you look silly at times. Pat Falloon. Gets across center ice. Still hasn't taken the zone. Garpenloff, dangerous pass. Circling around, loses it. Scrudlin, one on two. Sandis Ozilich, Wilkinson. We see no Doug Wilson on the ice. It's kind of a shocker. And uh, I don't know if that was like an attempt at EA Special to flip pass, no go. Gilakizio to Garpenloff, and it's a 3-1 game. Pat Falud with the other assist. Tyler Vota says, not so quick here. I can play too. 136 remaining in the first. Face off one by Florida. Florida. Scrudlin. Tries to put it back. And it is iced by Irbe. Sandis Ozo Lynch with the puck takes the zone. Looking for a feed option. Tries to do a one timer all the way across to the corner to Garpenloff and no chance of that going in and there's a one-timer there turned away by Irbe Garpenloff trying to go for the deke loses the puck on the way we got a delayed penalty here comes Scrudlin on the ice only Sandis Ozilic in his way and there's another brilliant set of passes Gord Murphy with the Lomakin and Scrudlin assists gets a goal it's 4-1 here in the first period 13 seconds remaining Mellon B tries to go for the pass shot. No go, and that ends the first period. Again, this is the Edge of 94 Midwest Modano Mo Problems Tournament. Live from the Poor House, Uptown Minneapolis. If you're in chat, we'd love to hear from you. Go ahead and say something. Would love it if you could share this stream out with the world. A lot of 94 players out there. A lot of fans of this stream are actually at this tournament, but there's a lot of names and faces. We'll be here all day. We imagine in, in a couple hours or so, we'll start to get pretty deep into the bracket process for this part of the tournament. Then we do a, a, a Super Nintendo tournament after this. But welcome to the second period. Five minutes here. Tyler Volta has to go to work. Santa Sosa Lynch loses the puck. Bad pass right off the faceoff. And we got a floater. Hervey handles it. That looked dangerous for a second. Pat Balloon gathers it. Gordon Murphy just wrecks him in the boards. Here comes Kelly Kizio. Tries to feed it to a one-timer, and it is cleared. 
And I'm embarrassed. I don't know who number 19 is. It doesn't matter. Scott Mellaby with his second goal in the second half for Andre Lomakin. It's 5-1. We are two goals away from the mercy roll. Just over four minutes here in the second period. Kelly Kizio tries to go for the down and B pass shot. Does not work. And we've got Hines cross the blocker side of Urbe at 6-1. Sandis Ozil Lynch takes it back. Ozil Lynch, bad pass. Pat Falloon unable to get free. Quick one-timer in front of Irbe, and there's that. I got out, and there's your 7-1 game. That is Mercy. So end of the game. Hey, guys, 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 guys. Hey, hey, EA, EA, can you guys play up here? This game is over. You guys starting a game? Can you play on this one? What's that? He does. Well, I, I, need a, I need a stream game. They just got done. All right, we're going to get EA and Jer up here momentarily. So that game is over. Congrats to King Raph for a victory there. I'm sorry, man. I got, I got to get games up here. And a hot brewery. Hey, hey, Tyler, can you just hit the reset button on there on the right of the console? Yep. So again, there is a six goal mercy rule. Uh, that idea was uh, borrowed and with good intent from King of 94. We don't want to continue to pound someone that's uh, on the bad end of, uh, of, a, of a butt whooping. So, and you're gonna see a lot of those from King Raff. He is the number one ranked Genesis player in the world, according to NHL94.com. Guys, appreciate you being flexible. Yeah. But there, if, if you guys want, there, I think those ears do have the sound piping through them. If you want, you don't have to. But if you can't, if you can't hear that well enough, there is audio through the headphones too. I put it in Discord. It's also on the NHL 94 group, and I posted it on the Edge page as well. Thank you. Before you get started, just let us know who's player or who's uh, what team. set up the scene as you guys, you guys can set up your lineups and everything. You guys are good to go.
All right, here we go. We got the Quebec Nordiques being controlled by EA. And Jer controlling the New York Rangers. Two really good players here. Had a chance to play both of them last night. Both of them handled me pretty well. Games with Jer are a little closer. Everyone, you're encouraged to take plenty of photos with your with your phones, share out on the social media. You can take Edge of 94 Midwest on Facebook or at Trojan Voice on Twitter. Or you can also message them in the Discord channel if you're in that. So thanks for helping us out with that. All right, welcome to the game. Yes, it's taking in nowhere to go. Kovalenko handles the puck. Off the wing to Sackick. Sackick's at center, but he's stuck on the right wing. Taken down. Here it comes. Garner to Amante. I think that's Amante. Help a brother out here in chat. Is that Tony Amante, number 33? Okay. I'm really digging in my knowledge here, guys. All right, so back to the action. Kovalenko. Wins the face off, but he loses a handle. Gusarov can't get there. Here comes Gardner. Gardner on the edge has an option, but it gets knocked down in front of the net. Matt Sundin on the wing. One on three. Tries to go for the A special. Van Beesbrook turns it away. Amante is intercepted by Gusarov. Gusarov looking for Sakic. Sakic has the puck. Tries to go for Slapper, just take it away. Quick one-timer, it's turned away by Van Breesbrook. Patrick taken down. Patrick going, oh, here's another EA special, and there is your goal of Joe Sackick. With the deflection and put back. It's 1-0, 2-10 remaining in the first. Amante with the puck taken down by... Steve Duchesne. Sakic loses the puck. Here comes Gartner. Gartner taken down. Gusarov with the handle. Gotta, gotta do question. Enjoy the gameplay. Be right with you. Just a reminder, folks, for those that are in the four-player groups, it is not one versus two twice or three versus four twice. It's one versus three two times and the two versus the four two times. Someone made that mistake already. So if you made that mistake, the first game counts and only that game. Thank you. All right, back to the action. And there's the cross crease cheese from Joe Sackick, his second goal of the game. Matt Sundin with the apple. It's 2 nothing. Looks like it didn't miss, miss too much until that moment there. Steve Duchesne feeds it to Sundin. Sundin with the credit goal. Another EA special turned away by Beesbrook. Really good manual goalie there by Jer. Brian Leach handled the puck. A delayed penalty. Gardner's knocked down. Duchesne touches up. Andre Kovalenko, number 51, into the box. Two minutes. We have a five on four advantage. New York's power play. However, Sundin running loose, loses the puck. Here comes Amante. Amante feeds to. Tikkanen, Asa Tikkanen, can't get there. He's a little heavy, gets knocked down easy at times. Hard slapper from Matt Sundin, turned away by Matt Beesbrook, and here it comes right back to it. Matt Sundin with his first goal, a second point of the game. It's 3-0.
Tikkanen. Gives to Gartner. Gartner skating around net. No one wants to get to him. Quick one-timer attempt to Amante. Can't handle it. Is intercepted and fed back to Gardner, who retakes the zone, taking away good defense in front of the Quebec goal. One-timer attempt. Kovalenko could not handle it. Here comes Gardner to Amante. Amante, one-timer. Gardner misses the net. That shot accuracy for the Rangers coming into play. Lack thereof. Gusarov, where's the give and go? From Sundin with the third point of the game, it is 4-0 here as we are winding down in the second period, 45 seconds remaining. One timer to Asa ticking in, and finally Jerry gets on the board, and now the Rangers are finding the back of the net. Let's see if this continues. It's 4-1. Brian Leach to Tikkanen, who just had that goal. And he gets, somehow that got forced in. I it went the five hole, or if EA just accidentally turned into his own goal. It's 4-2. Big momentum shift here, and another goal. Time for a timeout. And I'm welcoming into the booth my counterpart in crime. My travel companion, Carter. Why don't you see if we can get up on the microphone here? Apologize for the handling noise here as we enter the third period. Carter, get on that one, baby. Oh, it looks like my. Howler commentator has got to play. Got a 4-3 game here. Really good comeback so far by Jared. The timeout may have helped. Kovalenko gets it cross ice far post. And it's 5-3. Extending the lead is EA with 4-12 remaining. Hextall getting into the action. Monte finally gets the handle. Here comes Gardner. Gardner with a hard slap. Tries to put it back. Hextall turns him away. Here comes Gusarov. Gusarov. Center ice feeds it into Kovalenko. Tries to go cross ice. Matt Sundin misses the net. Trying to go far post. Oh, short side. Excuse me. Tikkanen could not find the back of the net. Gusarov is going to go to the box here. We got a penalty. On the Noriks. Tripping, two minutes. Four and five opportunity here for the Rangers. are down two goals. Running out of time. Need a quick putback. Amante is there. And a quick one-timer to Saka, who has a hat trick. Foot and Sundin with the assists. It's 6 3, and now starting to look bleak here with just over two minutes remaining for the Rangers. Let's see if Jerry can get a quick goal. Goes for a quick shot. There's some chaos. No pun intended. Chaos from NHL 94. Thanks for all the help. All right, here comes Ryan Leach. And that floater does not get home. It was a good idea. Here comes Tikkanen. Short side, turned away. Hextall doing a great job. And there it is. Sackick with his fourth goal. And this one's just about in the books here, with 50 seconds remaining. Jers played a really good game comeback, but just could not guess right today. The shots were true, and the shot accuracy became a liability here with the Rangers. And there's a quick goal. Gardner from Leach and Patrick. Metal Face Doom, you got your popcorn. Hey, glad you're with us. Running out of time. Oh, Tikkanen misses the net. I don't know if it would have been enough anyway, but looks like the game's going to end here in 7-4. EA over Jer. A good matchup. 
and uh, wish them both well as they continue their journey here in the tournament. We'll be back with you in a moment. start a new one. <laughs> Jer, who else do you have to play in your group? Jer, have you played 70s Lord yet? Okay. I think that would be a good one for you to get on. Yeah.
game to get started here. We're going to switch over. Yep. Hey, King of 94. Uh, we are nearing the end of round robin play, but not. Uh, depend some more people have just the way the timing works. There's some buys in some games and whatnot. We got a match up here. All right, who's what team? Detroit, Chicago. Okay. So Jer is Chicago, Red uh, Chicago uh, Blackhawks. And so no, does this work? This does not work. Does this work? Does this work? Can you hear me through this? Go ahead and say something for me. Hello? Yes, you are on there. And uh I can't hear you. Okay, we're we're which uh headquarter are you in? Oh, you may not be plugged in. Lift up lift your ears out for a second. Okay. Do you turn it up louder or go quieter? Okay. So. There you go. Camera is right there. Way over there by the light. Okay. So you're going to want to get right up on this. You don't have to hold it up or anything, it's just... Yeah, get right here. Okay, guys. Um, hopefully you can hear Carter all right. Got a game between Jer and 70s Lord. Detroit-Chicago matchup. Are you guys all set to go? All right, this is round play yet, round robin play. You guys are good to go? Yep. All right, we're going to get started here. All right. We've got Jer on the road against 70s Lords, Detroit Red Wings, Larmer on the wing. Tries to feed it to Ronick, no go. Iserman can't handle it. <sighs> Tries to feed it. Here comes Ronick. Stopped. Here comes Iserman. Stopped by Belfour. Got out of net. Tried to do a quick putback shot, no go. Fedorov tries to feed it across ice. It is stopped by Chelios. Cicerelli. Causes Belfort to stack his pads, but turned away. So, Carter, how's your tournament going so far? Trash. Legit garbage. How many games did you win? One, but still, it's garbage. You had, you, you had to play uh, some tough people twice. So, back to this game. So, have you had to play any of these guys this weekend? 70s Lord and Jeremy? No. Okay. All right, here comes Fedorov. Taken out. Here comes Chelios to Ronick. Ronick gains the zone. Tries to go short side. 
and is turned away. And we got a penalty here. Hooking for Chelios, two minutes, 2.11 in the first period. 4-on-4. Four four. And Roenick with the first goal of the game. Unassisted, 155 remaining. It's 1-0 Chicago. Jer over 70's Lord. Steve Smith with the interception, delayed penalty again on Detroit. Cicerelli goes to the box. We've got four and four skaters now. Iserman loses the puck thanks to Ronick. Picked up, I think that's Lidstrom. Ronick skating around. Cross. The glove. Sorry, Kusara. You know, some of the some of these guys go deep into the rosters that are just not commonly used. So it's a two nothing game. Here comes Joe Murphy. Tries to feed it to Ronick. No go. And that's the end of the first period. Do nothing. Anything you'd like to add about that period, Carter? Uh, 70s Lord. I can't score. Not yet, but he's got to go against Ed Belfour. <laughs> Belfour's the man. Shelly is up to Murphy. Takes his own. Roenick, short side, deep 3 0. And there's the hat trick for Jeremy Roenick. That's the second Roenick hat trick we've seen on stream today. And we got five on five skating, even strength, 430 remaining here in the second. Roenick makes, oh my goodness, stack the pads again. The Detroit goalie, for some reason, his name is escaping me. Could be the long night, who knows? All right, so Chelios touches up, we have icing. Cleveland Gaming Classic. Sup, nerds? Hey, welcome to the stream. Good supply. Palmerston, Ontario. Thanks for watching. This is the Modano Mo Problems. Edge of 94. Midwest. Cool. Tournament here in Life of the Morehouse in Minneapolis Uptown. 22 players strong. A lot of spectators. A lot of fun going on. Rona tries to go across. The Detroit goalie is there. Cicerelli on the wing. Iserman. Try, quick one timer to Cicerelli. No goal. Intercepted by Larmer. Larmer sees it the other way. Rona looking for his fourth goal. Quick pass shot. Turned away. Tim Shell today. Sorry, my goodness, I uh, just completely lost my uh, train of thought on there. Oh, looked like Iserman had a shot. The, nice stream. Yes, the the folks at AV for you have hooked us up big time, courtesy Leaf Erickson. Oh, quick one time return away by Shell today. Three nothing to be overcome here. It needs to be overcome. This deficit by 70's Lord. Welcome to the third period. 3-0 deficit here for 70's Lord to overcome against Jer 33. Metal face doom. I, I don't know what you said there, but... 
And we have Nicholas Lidstrom, sister from Tim Shelvey, and it's a 3-1 game. Finally, some of Lord getting on the game, and there's a smile from him. Both players enjoying themselves here at the Poor House. Minneapolis Uptown, thanks for all the support. And, oh, looks like Steve Smith tries to go across Shelvey's face. No go. Always good to hear Brass Bonanza on the stream. Carter, not much to say today in the tournament. What? what? What are your thoughts on this game? You're the color commentator. You're on the microphone. Let's uh, let's hear those chops. What's going on? You want to call a play-by-play? -play? No, I don't know who any of these players are. Oh, you just play the, you just play the game. I like that. Sheldon up to Iserman. Here comes Iserman. Breakaway chance. Sailed up and oh, it looked like that was a goal for sure. Somehow came out of that smelling like a rose. Ronick, the give and go from Larmer and Murphy. Joe Murphy with an apple on the game. 4-1. Jeremy extending his lead to 43. 70s Lord needs a flurry of goals. So Olivier turning away what most certainly would have been the game sealer. Tries to feed it into Iserman. Chelius is there, intercepts the puck, takes the zone. Is held up. No penalty. Quick one time to Joe Murphy, and that was an awesome goal. Larmer, Chelios with the apples. 159 remaining here. That may be a dagger. See if 70s Lorcan put some offense on the board here. Detroit at home. Should be able to do some work here. Just continually mishandling the puck. Oh, could not get that pass over to Fedorov. The passes are just not on target today. One time or miss, that would have been another goal, most likely if it got to Ronick, but it didn't. Cicerelli looking for a pass, meets four Blackhawks for his trouble. And now we're going to have a penalty on Detroit here, 50 seconds remaining, 5 1 game. This may be out of reach. Because it is. That's not the best color commentator in the bo uh, business for nothing, folks. Another Five penalty. Left. You, score, you expect him to score four goals just to tie it? I expect nothing except to drink my water and announce this game. Here comes Iserman looking for those four goals. Takes one to start, though. Gets the deflection but cannot get the rebound. Comes Ronick. He's milking away the last few seconds here. And tick tock. This game is over. 5 1. Jer over 70s Lord. We'll be back with another game soon. Stay with us. This is Edge of 94. Modano, more problems. Hey, yeah, I need a game up there, yeah. If you've concluded your group play phase, please hang on to your sheet, but please tabulate your record and your plus minus goal differential. I will ask for the sheets when we tabulate the group play results, and then you'll get them back so you can continue with the playoffs. But please hang on to it until, the, until I call for the sheets. Thank you. in the camera. Well, apparently Carter can't be seen because we see. 
Yeah, you blocked Carter. We get a nice uh, picture of your the arch of your back, though. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. So number one uh, overall seed, King Raf taking this is on. The Wi-Fi net. Yes, that's the Wi-Fi. Be gentle with that. King Rafts, Montreal Canadiens against the Winnipeg Jets, controlled by newcomer Jim Duffy. Phil Housley, Tepo Newmanen. Vincent Dompus looking for the slapper. It is. Got a delayed penalty. Cross check. Phil Housley go to the box. That'll hurt. One of the speedsters of Winnipeg. So. The story of this game will be the can, can Patrick Waugh be defeated with the speed and shot power and accuracy of players like Phil Housley and Timu Solani. So four on three disadvantage here. Shorthanded is Jim Duffy. Kirk Muller, Captain Kirk trying to drive it home. Bob Essensa off to Tom Steen. Thompson taken down. Desjardins feeds it behind the net. Taken down, and we've got icing. Icing in the Montreal zone. Hey, Chris, do you like color commentating? No, do you want to? Okay. Oh, you're going to kick me off, huh? No, there's three mics. All right, so... Oh, Kirk, Captain Kirk with the goal, power play goal, one nothing here, 231 in the first period. King Raff over Jim Duffy. Are you still working on those graphics? That's okay. Oh, we got a quick goal here. Kirk Muller again, Dennis Savard. Brisa boy, I, I don't even know who that is. This guy's going off their normal arrangement for some reason. You just see like a J.J. Dagnall or... I don't know, someone else. Anyway, up to Muller. Here comes Captain Kirk. Breakaway opportunity taken down from behind. And it doesn't matter, Dennis Savard. He's also a Chicago Blackhawk. In his day, 128 remaining here in the 3-0 game. Jim Duffy trailing the number one defending champ for Sega Genesis. Number one ranked player in the world, King Raff. Showing him what it's all about. And well, like it goes wide, but there's the one-timer again to Muller, and there's the hat trick. 4-0 is your score. I'm sorry, you were saying? It's more like two countries, Canada and uh, the United States. Well, Winnipeg is in Canada. No, I mean, you know how you said the best player in the world? Yeah. Really, only out of Canada and uh, the United States because there could be somebody else. Oh, there's a slapper from Muller, his fourth goal. Desjardins and Dampu is with the assist. It's still three. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this happens. And we're getting to the end of, uh, you normally wouldn't put a, a, a one and a five seed on stream, but all the other games are still in progress here, so. King Raff's been on already, and th this is how his games typically go. 5 nothing here in the first period. One more goal, it will be Mercy Roll. I was looking to take DPS to the second to the second period at, at the tournament in Chicago. That was a good time. Oh, Dampos does not drive it home. We might have a Phil Housley penalty coming up here. Again. Oh, this time it's Thomas Steen. My apologies. All right, back to it. Teplo Newmanen loses the puck. Here comes Dennis Savard. And there's a short side deacon. That's your game. 6 0. That'll be your final score for this game. So we'll be back with another game. We're, depending on where we are, uh, if there are any other games to be played, and we'll put them on stream. If not, then we'll end up going to a, a break as we figure out the, the, the group play and getting into the bracket phase. So stay with us. We can go to a we'll be back screen. 
Are there any unplayed games that haven't started yet? Oh my oh. gosh, it says King Wrath. Are there any unplayed games that have not begun yet in the group play phase? You have one game to play at against two. Against EA? Okay. You're about to play? I need a stream game. Is it possible? Did you start yet? I haven't called from yet. Okay. You, so you, you two, DPS and Jer. Oh, you, you guys have not started yet. Are you guys okay playing up here, or you don't? You don't have to. If you just keep going, it's fine. We'll just say we'll be back a little bit. Is this? These are the last two games that have to get played. Okay. All right, everyone. We're going to go offline uh, because we're going to have a, a tabulation process here uh, and last games are being wrapped up. So we will go back live during the playoffs. This is the Edge of 94 stream. We will be back. I'm going to guess somewhere between a half hour and 45 minutes from now. So let's just say, let's call it 1.30 Central Time. We're hoping to be into the group, excuse me, the bracket phase by then. So 